right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who will well and peace and blessings to the whole for elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord that are prophesying, preaching and teaching on the highways and byways, and sincerity and truth. Shalom, we thumb. Um, and this is just going to be a warning and a reminder, man, that uh, we're under attack, brothers. You know, it's it, despite all of the shit that we go through, man, you, you may actually get into a point where you forget that we're in a war and Satan in the spiritual realm is trying to kill us, man. This thing is, uh, this thing is way bigger than just going out on, on the highways and byways on street corners and doing videos man it's like you're you're a part of something and then you got to understand what comes along with being a part of something you know there's always an enemy there's always something out there that, that wants to eat you it doesn't it doesn't want you to thrive or live all right so the moment that you stand up to something there's going to be opposition to it man and that's what guys got to realize man if you're truly rooted in this thing if you're truly grounded you're truly for the most high then you gotta recognize that that comes with things, man. We're gonna get attacked, all right? Demons are gonna want us 10 times more now that we're serving the Lord than they ever did when we were in the world. You know, like like being circumspect, it, it, it's paramount, man. And it doesn't just go for while we're out on the highways and byways. It, it goes everywhere you go, man, just walking in Walmart, you know, you, you texting a shorty, but shit kind of seemed kind of off, she, you know? And, 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 and you gotta be aware and cautious, man, at all times, even dealing with women, you know? I had a situation maybe a couple months ago, I was gonna go try and get up with this, with this, uh, <laughs> with this Keisha, man, and I was gonna drive out there, but something just told me not to do it, you know? And I don't know what would have happened or could have happened, but I just kind of perceived through the spirit, like she she wasn't she wasn't the most upstanding character, you know what I'm saying? And something could have happened to me, man. You know, going out there, man. It, it just you just can't be too too careful, man. But and it's not the same. It's not to say that you know brothers should walk around with fear all of the time, but at the same time, man, you got to realize somebody that people are out there to try to kill us, man. And it may be harder to see now, but the scriptures say in Ephesians, we deal with we deal with powers and principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, man. That's what the scriptures say. The things that are that are that 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 are coming after us, man, it's, it's above our pay grade. We can't do it on our own. We need the most high. We need Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. We need that name to call on, man. Alright? Because when 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 Satan gets the ultimate green light to get all the way busy. He's going to claim a lot of Israelites, man. And when I say claim, I don't just mean kill them in the spirit world. He's going to he's going to corrupt your mind. You're going to start thinking about the karagma is a good thing. All right. There's a sifting process going on, man. But I'm parked here. I got this precept pulled, man. This is uh, first Peter. Um, chapter five. And. Uh. Start at verse six. It says, "Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time." All right. I mean, stay low. Don't do too much. You remember in Second Edges, it speaks about us walking on a like, like a tight beam, water on one side and fire on the other. Man, we're not supposed to be running up and down, doing cartwheels and backflips on the beam, careless. No, we're supposed to walk humble, man. Slow, with with awareness and circumspectness around us, man. All right, and it says that the Lord would the Lord would deliver us in just time, not take your shit into your own hands. Okay. It says, verse seven, casting all your care upon Him for the for He careth for you. Isn't that man that that enough is heavy right there, man? Knowing the greatest power the conceivable cares for you, man. And He went out of His way to, to to illustrate that, man. And He went even further and says He doesn't give a fuck about the other nations. When you read Isaiah forty. Not only is he telling you in Deuteronomy and other books 
that he cares about us, that he loves us above all. But he also goes further and says, I don't give a fuck about these other people, man. These other nations. And you got to realize whether it be a woman, your cousin, your family, a, a close friend, relative, co-worker. It doesn't matter how close you are to them, man. It doesn't matter if they're even an Israelite. You can become a heathen in your mind, okay? That's why, that's why we were called Gentiles all throughout uh, the, the New Testament, even in the Old, I believe, as well, too. Okay? Verse 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And this is why uh, it, it's just a reminder that we're at war, man. All right? And again, it's not a carnal war. It's a spiritual one. Scriptures say again in Ephesians 6, it says we, 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 we battle spiritual wickedness in high places, man. All right? This is the other precept that I had. This is uh, James um, 1 verse 2. It says, my brethren, count it all joy and when, when you fall in, into diverse temptations. All right? This is going to go into... Uh, the mark of the beast as well too the Quran, you know but 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 ultimately remember when the lord is trying us it's because it's one or two things either he knows that we can do it or he's doing it to get us out of here man you know so if you're enduring every day that you're up that you get up in the morning and you're still enduring count it joy man because the lord is still dealing all right it says verse three knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience man all right so we got to be patient when we make particular decisions out there in the world remember there's a whole we, they got dossiers on us brothers i have no doubt they got dossiers on us they got all kind of intel they got they got they they mine data you know they collect particular uh bits of information on you they got algorithms to piece things together on you you know They, they they know and they have they have ways of laying of laying snares so when we go out there in the world man we have we have to have patience man all right you know you got demons like that demon that came up to uh the, the elder but not to talk about it in uh the carolina camp man that was that was a test right there you know a lot of jakes man would have just you know you know what would have happened you know but with the spirit bear witness with the elder there man all right, he was in the right spirit. And we gotta remember that our test could come at any moment, man. We're gonna get tried, we're gonna get tested, man. And patience is of the utmost importance, especially now. The scriptures say, woe unto you that have lost patience, man. When you start letting the things of this world get you out of your, knock you off of your square, get you out of, you know, all riled up. Now, now we're men, of course, we're gonna feel emotions, obviously, but you got to remember what's at, what, 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 what's at stake, man, you know, to get the victory, all right? It says, verse, verse four, it says, but let patience have her perfect work. I mean, perfect is patience, man. It's a, it's a perfect thing to have. It's, it's a perfect work to exercise it, all right, in times of adversity, in times of uh, chaos, okay? It says that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing, all right? So you got to let patience do her thing, man. It's, yeah, I, I understand that it sounds like everybody's winning, man. There's nothing, there's nothing like, you know, watching somebody, you know, take something from you, run off with it. You're watching them and they're just winning. They're taking the thing that they stole from you and they're, and they're coming up. That's infuriating, man. You want, you be wanting to kill somebody, man. Especially if it's a woman, you have to watch a woman go deal with another man, and, 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 and you know, you know. I get it, but but ultimately, man, we the we we have to understand the importance of patience, man. All right, it, it's something that we we gotta let it go, you know. All right, and, and now is the time where Satan's gonna come hard, man. Wait till Esau gets get un, unlooses all the information he got on us. Wait till he starts pitting uh, family members against one another. You know, 
relatives, friends, people who you thought was your right or die. Just wait, man. All right? Verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that give it to all men liberally. All right? So if you don't know the answer to something, man, ask. Pray fast. Seek the wisdom of the Most High. You see? Don't don't go on don't don't go it on your own because remember everything in this society is a potential snare for you, man. Alright? Everything. It says, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given unto him. It says, But let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed, man. Alright? So don't let the the, 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 the bullshit of the world knock you off your square man start getting you out of out of your character all right when you start you start doubling back you know you start you know you start second guessing things you know it says for verse 7 for let not that man think that he have that he shall receive anything of the lord all right so a man that that doesn't Rule his spirit. The scripture say the man that can rule the spirit can take a city, man. <laughs> All right. And the men, the men that can't do that, that's what it's gonna take coming up, man. The men that can't do that, man, are gonna get knocked out, man. And that's a scary thing, brother. That's a scary thing, man. You know. This this is a heavy thing we gotta we gotta deal with and go through, you know. And you know what? To be honest, man, it's gonna get worse. All right. I can't even sit up here and tell you that, that, that it's on the way because we haven't even hit the hour of temptation yet, man. Now is the time we gotta we gotta bulk up, man. If things are not gonna get easier, what do we have to do? We have to get stronger. You see? That's how it that's how it goes. Alright? So brothers gotta be constantly measure themselves, constantly examine yourself to see whether or not you're in this thing. That's written in the scriptures, man. Constantly examine. What are you doing this for? Why? You see? That, that, that's that got to be a, a, a daily thing, man. All right? Because this thing's going to get worse, man. Just wait. The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work, and it's going to be on our behalf, but it's only going to be for the ones who are diligent, who are faithful, who have patience. All right? The ones that, he, that are found so doing... Right, the ones that exhibit the characteristics that are written, man. You know, you could read the uh, what they call in the Christian church the Beatitudes, you know, which is, which is basically the fruits of the spirit. We're gonna be able to tell who brothers are, man, based on that, man. All right, scriptures speak about trying the spirit by the spirit, and that's that's what we're gonna have to go on, man, because we're not gonna have we're about to go into a time, man, where we're gonna have the least amount of answers about what's going on, man. Internet's gonna be getting shut down. All kinds of shit getting ready to happen. All right. So brothers gotta gird the fuck up, man. Be on guard, man. All right. Scriptures speak about the, the the watchmen. All right. But their duty is to watch. But then they they they, they slacking. All right. That blood is on your hands. If somebody gets into the city, okay, gets through the gate to take the city. There's blood on your hands, man. So we gotta gird the fuck up and understand what, what we're what we're in. You know, this is this is a this is a war. Alright? So I'll end it there, man. Hopefully this was edifying.